Well, we're very excited about this, uh, this new film, Turbo, because it, it tells a great story that's going to be inspiring to children, but because it's an animated film, it's also going to be a lot of fun to watch. And because it's about cars, guys like Steve and I are going to enjoy seeing it as well. The theory is that uh, you've got a snail who's dreaming big dreams. He actually wants to race in the Indy 500. Well, you know, his friends and family tell him, you better watch those dreams, that's not going to come true. Until he has a fateful meeting with a very specially modified Chevrolet Camaro, as we have here. And uh, that allows those dreams to, uh, well, you've got to see the film to, to know how the Indy 500 is uh, introduced. But it's a lot of fun, and we think it's going to be one of the big, uh, exciting films for children this, this summertime. Yeah, James, one of the wonderful things about the car here is that it actually provides what we'll call the spider bite moment right. for Turbo. And the car actually turboizes Turbo. <laughs> and uh, as he comes out through the exhaust system, he realizes that something has changed within him. And then so there's a lot of humorous little things that happen to Turbo along the way. He ends up um, connecting with a bunch of snail uh, buddies of his that uh, also like to go fast, but they don't quite have the same power that Turbo has. And he ultimately makes his uh, journey to the Indy 500. And uh, the, uh, I won't give away the end of the film, but it's, it's a lot of fun. So. We'll talk later off camera. Yeah, okay, you bet. And I think one thing that's exciting is, uh, you know, because this is a Chevrolet promotion, we have an actual vehicle associated with this film. This is a, uh, a highly modified, obviously, Camaro ZL1, which already has 580 horsepower. So it, w it would do the job, but we wanted to connect the animated car with a real life version. So we've built up this uh, specially uh, modified ZL1. It's got some parts on it which are not available for uh, driving on the street, but it really gives a chance to, uh, to put on four wheels, uh, an emotional connection with the film. It makes a car that kids will look at and think that is just the coolest car I've ever seen. I want the hot wheels like that car, as well as for the dads to say, hmm, a Camaro might be a nice uh, addition to my driveway and uh, make some little changes to as well. So we think it's a, it's a great uh, vehicle, if you will, to, to help pr uh, promote Chevrolet within this new film. Yeah, and James, one of the great things right now with the car is that it's actually traveling right. uh, through the IRL racing circuit. Mm -hmm. um, it's been at uh, various auto shows. And it'll be at the premiere of the film uh, in New York in July. So uh, the car is definitely uh, making its rounds as well. And you, you were talking earlier, Steve, about the uh, promotions you're doing with this to help get families to be the first in the neighborhood to see the film. Yes, absolutely. So we're running a couple of promotions, one that um, is a uh, local screening program. Uh, so it gives people a chance through um, promotions with local TV and radio stations to get a chance to be the first to see the film in their particular market. And we're also doing a really fun online social-based uh, promotion that's called Draw Your Dream, which gives children, with the permission of their parents, to participate, uh, submit their illustration of what their ultimate dream would be, and then they'll get a chance to uh, win uh, tickets to, the, uh, to see the film and also some real fun uh, turbo merchandise. Well, I talk about Chevrolet a lot in my job, but I'll tell you what, this is definitely a highlight of my career to be able to, to talk about uh, a movie that, even as an adult, I can't wait to see. So thanks for your time today, Steve. Thank you. Appreciate it.